Oh, and happy holidays. <laughs> welcome, welcome to uh, our broadcast today. Uh, joining me is the amazing Annie, who is a mindset mentor with us here at Take Your Power Back Now. My name, of course, is Vanessa Simpkins. And we want to talk with you guys today about how to really kickstart your 2018, really help you launch, get started with your coaching business, your online portable profitable coaching business that you can rock from anywhere in the world in your bikini, which sounds really nice right now if you guys are living in a cold climate. And, uh, and he's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's negative seven here. So a bikini sounds great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Annie's in Chicago. I'm here in California. It's sunny here, but uh, I'm all for living in the bikinis. So, so we want to help you really jumpstart your coaching business. We were talking like, how can we really help these, you know, all of you guys here in our free Facebook group, the Bikini Business Breakthrough Group, how can we really help you, you know, avoid all the pitfalls and the hassles and the costly mistakes mm. you know, we see a lot of coaches struggle with? So, so that's a conversation that we want to have here with you today. Let us know if you're joining us. Please type your name in the chat box so we can say hello. And please, please, please ask us questions. You know, all questions are good questions. There are no stupid wrong, never bad questions, except the ones you don't ask. So please, you know, use this time and space. And again, Annie is our rock star head mindset mentor at um, our eight-week boot camp. We run uh, a 10K and 30-day eight-week boot camp where we teach new coaches how to really get started, how to get up, how to get clear and, and generate sales. So, so we want to start with the five biggest challenges and struggles that we see, you know, take coaches kind of out of the game yeah. and, and, and really, you know, have this conversation. So, uh, so join us and let's, let's get started. I mean, what's the, what's the number one struggle that you see a lot of, you know, the women who are joining our program struggling with before obviously they get in the program. That would be visibility, hands down, bar none, this idea of just like, wait, people are going to be relying on me, looking at me, hearing me. I'm finally going to be seen. I'm going to have people that are turning to me to help change them. And I have to do all of this online, Blah, right? This, this huge visibility block of people who have normally spent, and a lot of our clients have spent their whole lives reaching out giving support in every which way, every direction. Maybe that support has rarely been returned. Maybe it's never been returned. But then suddenly, here you are in the spotlight, which is something you think you might crave even, but when you get into it, it can be pretty jarring. Yeah, it's a kind of a catch-22, right? In order to have a successful business, you have to be visible, deliver value, make offers. And so what happens when you have to make a video or get on a stage or make an offer to people and start to yeah. panic and freak out? This happens a lot, actually. Mm -hmm. this, I would agree with you, hands down, biggest, this was my biggest problem when I started eight years ago. I was always thinking like, who's gonna buy my thing? You know, who am I? Like, I'm not Tony, I call it Tony Robbins syndrome, right? I'm not Tony yeah. Robbins. No one's gonna pay We love me. you, Tony, but no. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to be Tony Robbins, you know, in order to no. earn a great income as a coach. But you do have to break through these visibility blocks. So let us know if any of this is, you know, resonating for you. If you you're, you're challenged by similar ideas or thoughts, or we call them gremlins, these kind of ideas or beliefs that kind of halt you from being visible, right? Because that's that's the name of the game here, folks. It doesn't matter if you're 18 years old, you know, and you're on in, uh, Instagram with like 5,000 million followers, that guy who's got way less knowledge and information and life experience than you is making a killing online because they're really visible, yeah. right? Yeah. So and a lot of excuses attach themselves to the visibility gremlin or, or that block, which is, well, you know, I don't have a website or my website's not good enough or I don't really do social media or, well, I'll start doing video when I lose 15, 30, 70 pounds or I don't have the lighting I need. My computer's not good enough, right? Visibility tries so hard to keep you hidden that it's going to try to poke holes in every part of presence or confidence that you already have so that you don't so that you keep your mouth shut and you go back to bed and you never step out and you never open your mouth or worse you just take another program and halfway finish oh, it boy. And finish because eventually you're gonna have to 
be visible. You're going to have people, are, you know, you as a coach, I, I, I say this all the time, there's never been a better time in human history to, you know, to do this kind of service, to have this kind of business. It's a booming industry. The coaching industry is booming, but the average coach earns only $44,000 a year. Why is that? So we're talking today, the biggest challenge that we see people struggle with is fear of being visible, right? Fear yeah. of being an imposter, a fraud. They're like, oh my gosh. And that prevents them, even though they want this business, prevents them from, from really getting out there and delivering value and making offers, right? It's the, the first piece. And this kind of alerts me to a deeper core issue where we're talking now about the beliefs that you have about yourself. Yeah. Because, so what are some of those beliefs maybe that, might be preventing people from, you know, they say they want this business, but when it comes, push comes to shove or, you know, put your money where your mouth is yeah. or it's time to show up, they're like, ah, ah, like you say, delaying and procrastinating. I'm not strong enough to do this. I'm not unique enough to do this. I don't have enough experience. Why would anybody listen to me? Uh, what would my mom think? What would my husband think? What would my children think? Basically, what would anybody think, right? Uh, how will this be received? Uh, yeah. How do I explain what I do? Any of these things are just trying to chip away at your confidence, like like a sculptor, like a demonic sculptor, just chipping away at that confidence. You know, and and I want to. I think all of those are totally relevant. We we deal with these fears all of the time, and I I can certainly you know say for myself when I got started in this business, it was this number one. It was this the fear of being visible. All of those mindset gremlins. I worked in a job. It was a very. It was a great job to prepare me for entrepreneurship. I sold, but I, I was not my purpose. Okay, I used to sell mops and lint removers, okay? I used to be like the ShamWow guy that you see on television selling these tchotchke little things in like the Sears, Kmart, Canadian Tire. And I did that for four years. And I was terrified that I would never make as much money in my business as I did in my job. Mm -hmm. And I would take all these courses and I would jump on planes and fly off to all these expensive seminars to learn with all these gurus. And I would come home like all pumped up and then about a day or so later get super deflated because I hadn't really taken action on any of the shit that I learned, right? It was just shit yeah. that I learned. It was a bunch more information, information, information overload. And I think I was a couple of years in. So, I mean, I was, gosh, this is even before I wrote my first book. Uh, and then I did a whole telesummit and I was still terrified once I, you know, started making videos and interviewing people. Was, that was terrifying. Um, so it's a really big block. So that's the yeah. number one challenge. And what are some tips that you can give some of the viewers on how to break through that fear of being visible? It is a really big and overwhelming fear. Uh, and obviously we don't want you to take baby steps that are so small. You never get anywhere, but think about how you can incrementally get more visible. So this is not necessarily a situation where you have to dive into the deep end of the pool. If you want to, and that's how you operate, great, do it. Make a video, go live today. If that's not how you roll and you know you're going to send yourself running in the opposite direction, is your profile picture on Facebook a picture of you? Is it a recent picture of you? Is it a flattering, note I did not say model, I said flattering, professional oh. picture of you. Is your Facebook name a name that you go by? We have so many people that come into our program that are using a pseudonym, that have a picture of a flower, right? Take these little steps toward reclaiming your online identity and that'll get your ball rolling at least. I love this. And I think, you know, there's another piece here. A lot of people that join our eight week boot camp, you know, we really take people who are brand new coaches. They've done all these certifications and they're still not getting clients to super clarity and sales, you know, mm -hmm. super clarity and having sales conversations and wow, in the game and bam, you know, online social media presence and wow, sales attraction system set up and running in eight weeks this is what we do for them. And I think a lot of our clients are people who have jobs and they're afraid that, Oh my God, if I go and start making videos and start promoting my business, you know, my company could find out I could lose my job, right? So there's all of this going on as well. Mm -hmm. um, and I love how you're inviting people to start claiming that space, getting, again, start doing videos. We love videos. You know why? 
because video is the next best thing to being there live with your clients, right? Mm -hmm. And live streams that we're doing right now here in the group are so much fun. They're easy to do. And, you know, people can watch the replays. I think people love, love, love video. Again, people are buying you and they're buying you because you are the brand. Right? Yeah. So you gotta get exactly. out there. And there's never been a, an easier way with today's technology. You got an iPhone, boom, you're up and running. Now, if that phrase, you are the brand, just scared the crap out of you, you probably have an issue with visibility and some of the other things that we talked about. And here's the thing. When we talk about these fears, both on these lives and, and especially in our programming, we don't come at them from a judgmental place that doesn't serve you. But we're also not going to coddle these fears. We're going to help you get to the root of it, give you some action so that you can push past it. But yeah, if I mean, I think three, four years ago, if somebody would have come to me and said, Annie, you are your brand, my honest to God initial thought would be like, I don't want to be my brand until my hair is longer and I lose some weight and I'm a little bit more clear on what I'm going to say, right? I don't think I would be ready for that. And that was my own issue with visibility. Uh -huh. Yeah. So it's a huge, it's a huge problem, right? So, but we are, you know, as a coach, that's the best news. You are your brand and you can create your brand with video. You can create a Facebook group like we have here, which brings us to the next big major struggle that we see entrepreneurs making. We're talking about the top five today. If you're just joining us, we're the top five struggles that coaches, new coaches face in launching their six figure business. First one is visibility block. Second one is fear of technology. Right. Oh Not having systems. I like I'm like, hello, ding dong. You want to have one hundred thousand dollar a year business You quit your job like magical unicorns are going to come in and, you know, crap dollar bills. In your world. <laughs> that would be nice. Send them to my house, please. No. <laughs> yeah, instead of reindeers, we've got uh, magical dollar crapping <laughs> unicorns. <laughs> <laughs> but I really I, you know. I don't, I don't want to criticize anybody here, all right? But I really, after doing this now for eight years, we've been doing this a long time, and we're very, we've got this down to a science now, all right? I've been helping, uh, you know, women, spiritual women entrepreneurs skyrocket their confidence and cash flow now for eight years. We have a system. It works very well. And, and that's what you really need in your business. If, if you want to have a business, you need systems. Mm -hmm. And you need, if you don't have systems, that's what I call kind of spaghetti marketing, right? Where you're just throwing stuff against the wall, hoping it sticks, pray, oh my God, please, please, please. You know, so what are some of the, what are, what are some of the, the things that you hear coaches saying around this topic of, you know, not having that's systems? Technology. Yeah. So, you know, if you take all of that, that lack of clarity, what direction do I go? I don't know anything about marketing, da, da, da. And you tack on this layer of the fact that this is an online business. That really tends to freak out a lot of people. Um, especially we see this with our older clients who are like, I am old. I don't know how this computer works. I gotta have my kid do this for me, right? We see that over time and time again. And, and there's a lot of this kind of societal thinking that like, if you are above the age of 35, 45, you're never going to be able to figure technology out. Social media is for the kids. Don't worry about online advertising. You're not going to figure it out anyway. Go take something out in the newspaper and pray, right? And then also, we see this all the time, too. A lot of incredibly powerful spiritual women, when they get near technology, it kind of breaks. And yeah. we see this all the time where they're like, my printer's broken and this and that. And it's because there's so much energy kind of swirling around you, plus the frustration of technology. Think about what you're putting out into the universe, right? So it's like, well, I can't go near this thing because it's going to break or uh, I'm too old or I heard Facebook marketing is a fad. I don't want to do video. I don't even have a camera. Da -da -da -da, my website, blah, 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 blah. I don't know anything about any of these things. And, and it's just another form of something that wants to rob your confidence, right? So you're ready to get visible. You sit down to get visible. You're ready to try to make a big fat go of this and you have to go online and immediately your brain's going to go, nope, technology's not your thing. Nope. Mm -mm. No. Nope. Yeah. And this is something you really need to overcome. And I just want to say, hey, to Tay is joining us in the house. Hey, Tay. Hey. Frederickson's also here. She's saying, Annie, I'm just north of you near Lake Geneva. Lake Geneva's gorgeous. 
Wisconsin um, land of beer and cheese. <laughs> that sounds like my kind of place. It's so beautiful. Yeah, He's you. in our eight week program right freaking now. Just yeah. got started. I love it. I'm so stoked. She's like, I watched your videos for two months and she's like, I'm so happy I'm here. It was amazing. And now you're in a video. Yay. <laughs> yeah. So, so um, this, this fear of technology, this overwhelm, you know, one of my husband's father, I absolutely adore him. His name is Mike. He's 74 years old. The guy surfs and he uses, he, he came over to the house here for a couple weeks ago, spent a night here and went surfing, you know, with Alex the next day. And he brought his MacBook and he has an iPhone. And I was like, man, hats off to you, you know, good shit, good show. And I upgraded my iPhone and I gave him mine. He was like, Oh my God, thank you so much. And you know, I love that he's 74 years old, embraces yeah. technology. You know, that's how he communicates with the grandkids and with his son. So I, I don't believe that an old dog cannot learn new tricks. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I think that if you're not learning about how to run specifically paid advertising, Okay, and if you don't have systems, one of the systems that we teach our clients is a sales attraction system, a very simple one, a very simple online funnel, a sales attraction system. If you don't have that in your business, if you're not using paid advertising, if you don't have a sales attraction system and you're just throwing freaking macaroni and cheese or spaghetti marketing, <laughs> throwing freaking spaghetti on the wall, see if it sticks. Yeah. That's a recipe in my mind for a freaking heart attack. That's like That's where those costly mistakes that you mentioned at the very beginning come in. You're literally throwing your marketing at the wall to see what sticks. That means you're also probably throwing a fair amount of money and time and energy. So those time costs are not just money. The time cost is also your frustration, your confidence, right? Your time. Your time is crazy valuable. And if you have an issue with that phrase, we'll get there in a second. But to avoid these costly mistakes, especially with something like Facebook that changes, changes, changes all the time. You know, mm -hmm. it's how you need a solid plan. And here's the thing. You don't have to go that process alone, right? There are yeah. experts standing by waiting to help you get past this. Hi, hey, Susie. Susie in the house. Hey, Susie. She's one of our grads. Welcome. Denise also is here. She says, I need this. I'm manifesting the money. I need to do this. Yes, you absolutely do. Um, and let us know if you guys are joining us. We want to say hi to you. But yes, we want to help you guys. I want to celebrate you blowing up your business in 2018, rocking it out like a lot of our clients who make their first $3,000, $5,000, $12,000 coaching sale. Mm -hmm. A lot of them have never sold coaching before in their lives. Some of them have never sold anything before in yeah. their lives. Some of them are, have been business owners before. You know, some of them are brand new to entrepreneurship. But here's the deal, guys. If you don't have a sales attraction system, like any saying, you're, you're wasting a lot of time and you're wasting a lot of money. And I'm going to give you guys a personal story of mine. I don't know if you've seen this um, or not here in any of these videos. But when I got started, hey, Tanya's in the house. Bye, Happy holidays. Uh, when I got started, listen, I spent over $21,000 trying to get this online coaching thing working before I ever had a paying client. That's a lot of money. The first thing I did was I spent, um, I wrote a book, okay, self-published a book. So I, I needed to feel really powerful and like I wasn't a fraud and like I knew what the hell I was doing. So I write a book and it cost me $6,000, zero clients. Okay, then I had to actually like use the book and oh my God, build an email list and Oh my God, listen, it was, it was a lengthy process, okay? It was year one. You know, after that, I spent uh, $5,000 in this, uh, what was it, a Christian magazine promoting me because I didn't know how to get clients, right? So I was thinking, I'll just pay this woman and she promised me all kinds of visibility in her magazine. Two boxes of freaking 200 magazines arrive on my door. It looks like it was printed on someone's home computer. Mm. Zero, zero clients from these magazines, you know, 11,000 the whole. Then I hired this marketing company, really schnazzy. Oh, they look good. They're making websites for people. Going to make you a passive income building website, which really was just the wrong, the wrong thing to do at that time in my business because I really didn't know who the hell my audience was, number one. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. Uh, I didn't know. I'm trying to, like, put my finger here on the screen. <laughs> 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 it's being hit by the <laughs> <laughs> we got holiday brain a little bit, everybody. <laughs> um, anyways, 
you know, that, that website that I spent $10,000 for, the wrong thing to be doing at the wrong time in my business. What I really needed to do was have a sales attraction system. Yep. And what I really needed was somebody to show me how to get up there, get out there and start getting clients fast. Because the more time you spend not serving clients, right? You pay all this money for the coaching certifications. You take another certification. You're like, dang, get on a plane. You go here. And you're like, well, when's it going to happen? You, that's why we need to help you, you know, understand technology, understand and set up those systems. A, a sales attraction system is a way for you to attract people that, you know, they're, they're the right potential clients for you. How would you like, how would you like that if every day you knew that you had a really awesome platform to show up kind of like this Facebook group mm -hmm. where you could show up, do a video, make an offer and every day have a couple people raise their hand and say, you know what? I want to work with you. Yeah. How cool would that be if you could wake up every day to email saying, yeah, I want to work with you. Yeah, I want to get on the phone and talk with you. I like your program. I like your videos. I'm interested. How cool here's would that money. be? Here's some money. Here's some money. Here's some yeah. money. How cool would that be, right? So, so that's what we want to, that's what we want to help you um, really install in your business by overcoming that fear of technology and putting the right systems in place mm -hmm. for where you are in your evolution as a business owner. Okay, new, specifically new coaches, women's empowerment leaders who are like, I've been through hell and back and I know I'm meant to do more in this world, but I don't know what to do. That's who we're talking to, mm -hmm. right? Um, so that's the second challenge. Talk about the first one is overcoming visibility blocks. Number two, fear of technology, putting the right systems in place. What's the third one? Rejection, plain and simple. It's rejection, right? Now, this one, is tied so neatly into the ego. And I don't mean ego in a bad way. I mean, this is your voice, your mind, your image. This is you out there in a very pure, authentic, transparent, vulnerable way. And then you put all of this beauty and all of this truth and authenticity and bravery on a plate and you hand it to someone and you say, do you want this? Do you want this? Hey, and also, will you pay for this? And that's very, very vulnerable, right? Yeah. It can feel very, very vulnerable. But it's not only that sale, which is one of the main things of rejection. Am I going to get a no? Are they going to laugh at me? Are they going to be offended? It's also what we talked about a little bit with visibility. What is my mom going to say? Yeah. What is my husband going to say? What if they don't believe in my dream? What if I start a community and they all laugh at me, right? Well, it's like the greatest What if I make a sale and I don't give them, not able to give them the results that they paid for? And yeah. then what? Then they judge me, criticize me, kick me out, and then I die, right? So you're right. Yep. It, it's about the ego, this fear of rejection. And you hit it on the hammer. Let us know if any of this is resonating for you guys. Uh, pop a comment. We'd love to say hi to you. You know, uh, if you just want to say hi, that's great too. If you have any questions for Annie and I, please let us know. Mm -hmm. We really want to support you in overcoming whatever challenges that you're struggling with here with your coaching business, with your online coaching business. And we've got a rock solid track record now of eight years and helping hundreds and hundreds of women set up these systems and making their first sales. And I can, from personal experience, I was terrified you know, of, of, you know, selling a program, people wouldn't like it. They wouldn't get value from it. Who was I, what could I teach? I didn't really understand. And the real thing was, again, I'm like using my finger, but no one can see it. It's like, <laughs> I <was a> reindeer. <laughs> I'm going to use this hand. Okay. Um, there's a tip. Actually, there's a trick to video, right? The trick to video is using your hands. Just notice every time you see online video, People are always using their hands or talking with their hands. It keeps you engaged. Right now, I'm like using my hand, and you can't see it. Because... Over here. <laughs> Anyways, when you sell your yourself as your service, and this is what Annie was talking about, you're not selling a Xerox printer, a car, a house, a tangible thing. You're selling you. You're selling an extension of you. You're selling your confidence, your ability, your confidence in yourself. Mm -hmm. You're selling actually your beliefs in yourself, your concepts of yourself. Ooh, right? My dad was an artist. I'm going to show you guys a painting of this here. Wait a second. How can I do that? No, no, I don't know. How can I do that? <laughs> All right. You see that painting on the wall? He's an, a brilliant artist in my kitchen. And uh, anyways, 
So I, I grew up with my dad as this, you know, amazing artist who, let me just get myself back in the frame here, who really struggled with this, with owning the value of his art. And he had such low self-esteem, you know, and he was a brilliant fucking artist. I mean, my, sorry, I just swore, but there you go. You know, he really was amazing. And my grandfather was a famous artist. And, you know, I have two two other artists in the, so my grandfather, his two brothers, my dad, so there's four of them. And then we're talking like National Gallery, National Archives of Canada. I got a letter from the Queen of England, stamped from Buckingham Palace, like famous artists. And here my dad was like, you know, selling his art for, you know, afraid no one would pay for it. And, um, and he really, you know, showed me that, that picture of, you know, your, your own creation. And I think that's what coaching is, right? It's your own experience, right? Mm -hmm. And people are going to maybe say, I don't want it. What is that? I don't like it. Right. So overcoming your fear of rejection. And we see that a lot with our spiritual clients too. If you are a energy worker and intuitive, if you uh, work with attraction, any of these things that quote, the mainstream may not understand, we call this coming out of the spiritual closet, right? Because not only are you stepping out as a one person business, you're also stepping out as a one person spiritual business, right? Yeah. So, and, and to get out there and say, this is exactly what I believe in. This is a hundred percent what I'm behind and, and kind of dealing with the haters mm -hmm. and, and explaining to the well-meaning people that are going to try to get in your way and go, Oh no, mm -hmm. don't do that. People won't understand. Well, okay, fine. Go find the people that will. Right? right, but this process of coming out of the spiritual closet can be can be really, really overwhelming because not only are you asking for a sale, not only are you stepping out as your own business, not only are you maybe giving up other sources of income. On top of it, you're like, and I'm leading you in a spiritual, energetic, intuitive way. Okay, right? <laughs> it stacks up. Right, you're wondering if people are going to get it. Let me tell you, spirituality is a booming, just like coaching is, just like women's empowerment is, they are booming, booming industries because the whole world is waking up. So my take is on it is that it's booming, get on board. Um, but JJ Frederickson here, she's got a great question. She says, and I think, you know, this goes back to having that sales attraction system, right? She says, I like being in front of the room. She likes being in camera or on the stage, but my limiting belief is that nobody will show up. Cue the crickets. <laughs> I like that, right? Oh my gosh. you. Right, maybe you make a webinar, you do all this work and mm -hmm. crickets, right? You get nothing for all of your actions. So again, not having the right system in your business. If you don't have a sales, the, one of the points of is having a sales attraction system is getting really clear on who your niche is, who your mm -hmm. audience is, right? And then making people jump through a few hoops. And, and if they don't do it, well, they're not really an ideal client. Okay. And, and maybe you get like, you know, 10 applications a week, but you're like, you know what, you're not really my ideal client. So I'm not going to talk to you. So what it does is it allows you to weed out, I call them the looky loos or the tire kickers mm -hmm. or people who are like, ah, I'm just kind of curious, but not really serious or committed. Do you know what I mean? And it, and it, so it separates you from the, the not right clients, right? It weeds them out, but it also attracts attraction based marketing pulls in the right ones. Yeah. So marketing and sales attraction system, JJ. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and so also if you know what you're saying and you know how you're going to say it and you know who you're going to say it to and you give them a place to hear it uh -huh. and you tell them how to find it and you build a community of people to do all of that with that really frees up that pleasure that that pressure of of what if nobody shows up because yeah. here's the thing we want you to build these highly thriving profitable businesses but one of five seven twelve of these looky loos are nothing compared to three five seven people that say exactly what denise is saying right now have you been looking through my window <laughs> right one denise yeah. one even is going to take that feeling right out the door jj and, and thank you, Gigi, for, you know, being honest and vulnerable and sharing that. Let us know if you have similar concerns or fears that are preventing you. Oh, you know, we're having a really just open, candid conversation. And, you know, these are the real 
serious blocks and fears that and challenges that a lot of new coaches, whether you're great in a rock stone, you've got tons of value, they're the same they're the same struggles that we see women really stumbling on. And we don't want you to stumble on that. We want you to knock it out of the park. So um, thank you, Denise and JJ, for you know commenting here. Um, and what Annie is saying, yeah, that's right. Once you, when, what we help you do in our eight-week boot camp is we help you get really clear on a lot of things. And we do help you create that platform and group. You know, and how does how do you show up in there? And how do you be visible, deliver value, make offers in there, and have a system in there? And how do you use paid advertising like Facebook ads with a simple five dollar a day budget? You know, and 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 what that does is, oh my gosh, like now you're not just there thinking about an idea and having all these ideas, but you're like every day here are the next big we call them the three rocks. Here are the next three action steps to take to generate clients. And like Annie's saying, the first client you have, that's it, man. It's game on, right? Yeah. But once people like, and, and what's really cool about it is we have women in our program and they're all doing this guys. They're getting over their visibility blocks. We're working on their mindset. They're we're getting them over their fear of technology. They're working with our, uh, we're working with Nazim who's our Facebook ads um, ninja. Yes. You're going to see him in a couple of videos here. If you scroll down the feed, we did a live stream a couple of days ago, I think on Tuesday. Uh, helping them overcome their fear of rejection, helping them understand, create that sales attraction system, understand how the sales conversation works, right? We're working on your marketing plan. I even created an offer Bible for our clients of all the best offers that we've seen or like I've used, my clients have used over the last eight years. It just, I think it's like 37 pages long, okay? Proven things that you can just like copy and paste because here's the thing, guys, a lot of the new, a lot of the edge that you have to learn as a new coach is copywriting. Oh boy. And even like, Annie's a freaking ninja at copywriting. Why, thank you. Yes, and some people, I'm gonna, I'm honest with this, some people would rather talk to Annie than me. Uh, she is amazing with copywriting. Uh, I'm serious. She's I don't awesome, know about awesome that. And, and this is a new, a new skill that you have to learn. So we just give you copy and paste, you know, offers that you can use. Um, oh, I think you, Tara. Tara is saying amazing program. I love you, ladies. We love you, too. So I got on a tangent. I forgot what the hell I was going to say. It's but. okay. Why don't we talk about the next big uh, fear? Because you actually really segued sort of beautifully into it, which uh, which we started with what we were talking about with JJ and, and some other things, which is this idea of lack of clarity. So how many of you sitting out there right now, please, please let us know if this is you. It's certainly been both of us, uh, have been sitting there and you go, you know what? I have a dream and I'm totally pumped up. I'm gonna change lives. I'm gonna help people. I'm gonna be a coach. And then the fear kicks in and you're like, who am I gonna coach? What am I gonna call myself? What am I gonna sell? What is my program about? What is my name gonna be called? What is my website? Should I buy a domain? Do I need a website? <laughs> right? And then you start getting stuck with all of these details. Now, some of these details are very, very small. And some of these details, who is your ideal client? What is the methodology you're gonna put out there? How are you gonna brand yourself? What language are you gonna use in your copywriting, right? All of these different things. What's lacking here, that, that piece that's in between you and confidence and you and power and you and motivation, energy drive, is this glaring lack of clarity. And getting clear is one of the biggest, most beautiful gifts you can possibly give yourself because the second you get clear, it's like a choir of angels comes in, right? Yeah. And we see this with our clients all the time. They have, we call it clarity face. They kind of get this deer in the headlights face and then they suddenly go, oh, right? We see this all the time. We celebrate it because it really is, it's really kind of like a little mini beautiful epiphany when you get clear. It's it's everything. Clarity is power in my books. And this is the number one thing that we focus on with our clients. In my books, clarity is power because when you're clear, or like Annie says, when you know whether or not you need a website, when you know what to put in your offers, when you know how to run a, a profitable Facebook ad to grow your group, when you know how to, you know, what to do on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday in your business to be visible, deliver value, make offers, and, you, and then you actually get into action. You're not just sitting there busy, 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 and not know what to do and tool around and tool your thumbs and freak out. And then, right, then you start panicking, go down the rabbit hole. Who am I thinking? What was I thinking about? I'm busy, go get a job, right? 
So having an action plan, getting that clarity, clarity is power. And this is, I think, is our favorite thing to do. You know? Oh, yeah. We do this. We have a huge team, not just me, but our entire team is here to support you. Annie is but one. We have four mindset mentors. Four. Mm -hmm. You get that in the middle of my screen. And that clarity cool. begins on day one, yeah. right? Now, this is an eight-week intensive process, right? And I don't want that to scare you. I want that to say, if you're considering joining us, if you're considering applying to be in this program, this is not a fluffy program. If you're looking for something easy, fluffy, that eases you in, <laughs> sorry, no. Because from day one, we want to get you clear because we know that that is the gateway. Yeah, this is a get it done, strap your tits on, boot camp. <laughs> I'm serious. That's kind of yeah. how I coach. I'm very direct. I don't want you to waste. I don't need you to waste a year. I want you to get up and out there within eight weeks and start making sales. And so I love, sorry to interrupt you. I just love, we are getting blown up in the chat right now by current uh, members of our program and graduates. We love hearing how much the program has affected you. So so thank you, Tay. Thank you, Dom Marie. Thank you, Dorsey. Thank you, everybody. Just, uh, just mm. it. you are our why. You are why we do this. And, and to see you get these results is, is just my absolute favorite thing. And you know, thank you, yes. And thank you for showing up there. We promise we have not paid them. We have not like tipped them off. <laughs> no. We're just showing up and saying thank you, which is amazing. Uh, even Dorsey here is saying all my pieces, you know, my puzzle pieces are finally fitting together. Uh, Tay saying my mindset mentor made me look at myself in a whole new light. Sylvia is great. So we've got Sylvia is great. Plus, and Megan's on board, Penny as well. We have amazing mindset mentors. You know, Don Marie saying she's learned so much and through the program, Clarity set big time. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah. Tay said the same thing. I'm with you way farther than I was before. And same thing about, you know, clarity. So we love helping our clients get clarity because that's when you start getting results, right? Because you, you start putting into place. I mean, imagine, imagine how fast you could grow your business if you didn't have that doubt. Like I think doubt is the, the killer of, of progress and results. You think, and then you're there by yourself usually, or you're talking with some other person. I used to do this. I would go, I would go to, I'd fly in a plane, I remember my very first mentor was actually here in Huntington Beach, California. I live in Oceanside, like maybe an hour or two down the coast. And, and he was selling some mastermind program at the end. And I didn't buy it, but I got in with this guy. And you know, we were like, we said, okay, we'll be accountability partners. And, you know, we were two freaking dodo brains, dodo <laughs> brains. We fuck all for the next year, getting so discombobulated. You know, well, how much money did I piss down the drain? Mm -hmm. Really, and I just told the story right here before. What I should have done is sign up. I would have saved a lot of money. I would have shortcut my success. And I feel like in this industry especially, we have a lot of people um, that are not willing to roll up the sleeves and actually help you. Okay? Mm -hmm. So here's a key for you guys. We, we teach our clients how to develop high-value programs that really generate results okay and the key here is that we actually work with you you know what i mean like that's that's the real we help you really get clear because if you're just going to throw a bunch of information people don't want that anymore they don't want little videos that they do on their own because then they're still like well how the heck does it apply to me yeah you know? what does it have to do with me yeah what do i call myself how do i take that information and you know so so again um we really want you to like, like Dorsey's saying, Megan's my mentor, and I'm in love with her in this group. I'm so glad someone finally heard me and can see me, right, and can give, give you the clarity. So I posted here, if you guys are interested in getting these kind of results and getting clarity in your business, I posted the link here where you can apply for our eight-week boot camp. It is the best decision you can make for yourself and your business. If you really want to change and not just like, oh, you know, a little change, but like Annie said, this is a hardcore, not a hardcore point. Yeah, 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 strap your tits on. Let's go. Let's go. You know? Yeah. Not dilly dally and dipping your toenails here and there. Let's let's get it together. Let's get the whole thing together and get you out with a marketing plan and making sales, you know, and getting that clarity. Uh Susie also says, You ladies changed my oh, life. Thank Susie, you. Susie, we love you. Yeah. We're we magnificent graduate. Feeling. Sorry, go ahead. I'm cutting you off. Oh, no, I'm just saying Susie's one of our magnificent graduates out there doing the work every day. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and so, and all these amazing women, they really, <laughs> Jay is Thanks, like, <laughs> <laughs> I love your spirit, I love your attitude. Uh, she's so thrilled you know, when I finally met Tay, because I saw her on these videos. She was like always popping up on these videos, and then finally one day, we had our live Q&A call inside the 10K program, and she's like, hey, I've been watching you for two months, and I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy that I did this program, and I got your books in the mail, and you know, it's really, really cool to be able to, yeah, like Annie said, I feel totally blessed to celebrate real women's empowerment. Mm -hmm. You know, we talk a lot about money and sales because that's, you know, when you make your own money, you're a choice. You know, then you get to decide, maybe I don't want to be in this relationship anymore. Maybe, you know, maybe oh, I'm in a relationship. Yeah. Of, you see a lot of women. That, that's how I started my business. You know, I was stuck. Uh, in a relationship and jumping in jumping out for eight years. I believed all of his lies I was involved with this narcissist. It was all about him He freaking made me feel like I was an idiot for having dreams Bet you he's freaking crying now, you know, but Eight years ago, you know a long time ago uh, Was it eight years ago? I don't know how long ago it was but at least five six years ago um, Maybe more than that 2006 what year are we? 2018. This is a long time ago. <laughs> I get caught in that, but when you make your own money, you're at choice, right? You can you can decide to stay or go. You can you can you know afford amazing experiences for your family. You can decide to eat organic food, go to freaking spas and retreats, go and up level your freaking learning, and you want to be a Tony Robbins junkie for the rest of your life or a Gabrielle Bernstein junkie knock yourself out you know you can you can do all those things you want to move and you want to have a bigger place you get to show your kids that life is about expansion and not fear and pinching pennies and freaking coupons right like you get to be a better person you get to impact people's lives fuck it's amazing it's the most amazing i'm addicted to it i really am i love to celebrate when women take their power back and overcome fear and thrive. That's really what we do here. Take your power back now. That's that's really why I do it. Um, so we've got a big heart. Um, and Susie says, even the graduates are supported. Yes, we have a graduates group because our clients make such outrageous friendships with each other. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, like I told you, some people would rather talk to Annie than me. Everyone loves, everyone loves our mindset mentors. <laughs> I hand selected them and they're awesome. And there you go. Uh, they're awesome, each in their own individual um, expertise, and you get to work with my entire team. Imagine how fast your business could grow if you had access to a team of highly skilled copywriters. Let me get my finger in the right place. Copywriters, <laughs> marketing <laughs> course, <laughs> um, Facebook ad specialist, a seven-figure business earner. Do you know that Take Your Power Back now did $1.6 million in revenue this year? Yeah. Holy fuck, man. Would have never happened without all these amazing people here on my team. Thank you. Yeah, big time. And um, so can you imagine what it would be like if you get to, you know, talk with me and my amazing team every week? We've got two live Q&A calls that we support you on and where you're not only asking questions, but you're listening as everyone else asks questions and you're like, oh, my God, I didn't even think to ask that. But dang, that's a good question. Check. And, you know, got clarity on that, too, for myself. Um, yeah, and Darcy, just like this, I've been lost for the last two years and lost way too much time and money. And yeah. so this is, listen to this, guys. If you can create the program, like we're showing you how to, we're teaching you how to do it. Wouldn't you agree, Annie? Mm -hmm. They'd be like, they'd knock 90% of the competition off, off the table just by creating a valuable high-touch program, right? Like yeah. we teach clients. Yeah. So, Oh, Sarah Evans is in the house. <gasps> Sarah. Oh, we love Sarah. Helping people find love with their self, with their world, and hopefully with other people. Sarah, we love you. Amazing that you're here. Do you know that Sarah made it into the Offer Bible, actually? I used the, um, yeah, and if you haven't checked out the Offer Bible, check it out. It's in Module 3. I don't that know does if you not know. surprise me at all. Yeah. Rockstar Sarah. This is such a rock star. She actually created her first Facebook ad. And I think she had like six people in her group and people were already like, I want to, and, and breaking, <laughs> breaking breakthrough calls with her. It was so freaking awesome. So 
Um, yeah, you made it in the offer Bible. You're an official rock star. All of our clients are rock stars. And Dorsey says, and I love all the done for you templates, right? Listen, I know what it's like to, uh, well, we talked a little bit about this too, Annie, you know, leaving a job. <gasps> it's like you're jumping uh, out of the chasm of like, oh my God, am I going to make it? And like learning, there's so much learning. Wouldn't you just love to have a freaking, here's a coaching agreement form. Here's the freaking, here's what you say. Here, you know, here's the email you send out. Here's what to put in your scheduling link. Here, you want someone to do it for you? You even have like people set up to help you with all the technology and, you know, some of the templates. I'm so happy, Dorsey, that you're enjoying them. Yay. Aww. I'm sorry, you guys, are, there's so many comments here. I'm trying to put them all up here. Denny says, you're making me cry. I need this so much. Yay! <laughs> you motherfucking badass after all. Yes, girl. Yes. Denise, yeah. what I see there is actually you <laughs> facing down the last of the five fears, which is this idea of worthiness and charging your worth. And I love that you admit, and thank you for that vulnerability, that you have been playing small, mm -hmm. right? Because look, you say it yourself. This is your language. You're a motherfucking badass. Yeah. But here's the thing. You can be the biggest badass in the world. And if you never find your audience and you never get clear and you never open your mouth, guess what? All that badassery, all those gifts you've been given, all that hard work you've put in, all that money you spent, it's freaking pointless. And so often the thing that just torpedoes you is this idea of am I worthy of this change? Yes. Do I deserve this success? Am I capable of the kind of power and change that I'm saying I have and can create? I see this really, really, it's gut-wrenching. It can be soul-sucking, this feeling of like, I have this dream. I know what I want. I know the impact I want to make. I know the money I want to make. I know the the like, all the things that Vanessa mentioned before. This is the life I want to provide for my children. This is the kind of day I want to have. This is the power and control I want to have over my own life. These are the relationships I want. This is how I want to prioritize myself. Oh, yes. And if there's any part of you that goes, but I can't do it or I don't deserve it, yep. that just stops you dead in your tracks. You got to work on the, that's why the belief and the mindset work is so important. Uh oh, Annie, we lost you sound. Ah! What? I'm right oh, here. You're back. You're back. You're back. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, owning your value. Mm -hmm. We're not, this is not a program about making $29 programs. And I've sold a lot of $29 programs and I'm proud of them. But this is a program about making a high ticket, thriving business, which has its own set of gremlins all around this idea of why would anybody ever pay me that? Am I really able to provide that much value? And can I really build an empire, right, Vanessa? Yeah, we have a lot of comments here. and. Um... I love this whole conversation. I love how we're just taking this organic approach, you know, and people like Denise are really showing up and saying, ah, you know, and Dorothy, thank you for, you know, saying she's, I promise, I swear to God, we have not paid these people. These are actual people that are in our program right now. And, um, and they love it. You know, Vanessa and her team, the affirmation is a gremlin killing. She does worth every penny. Yeah. So here's the deal, Denise. And, and I think we, we get to a point like Annie's saying, where enough is enough okay and i love that you're in this space because you're making the decision like screw it no matter what i'm gonna freaking find the money i'm gonna do this and you need to you need to be resourceful like this and have your hair on fire like this in order to succeed as an entrepreneur mm -hmm. all right and you do you you have to be resourceful meaning i don't care if you want to become a chef or a freaking race car driver or a coach you know, you have to have this like burning desire because you're going to be faced with a lot with some learning. And we built this program. I built it because I wish somebody would have put it all into one freaking package for me. So I didn't have to go to get spirituality over there, mindset work over here, sales over here, online marketing over there, systems over here, sales over here. You know what I mean? I was just like, can someone just freaking... Take me by the hand and sh tell me what the hell to do and make it direct and make, you know, so that's why we have it here. And um, I can tell you that when my hair was on fire, you know, when I hated my job, 
when the company I work for made me go to work. I had no freaking family. I had no. I couldn't even have a pet or a freaking plants because I would be traveling on the road for so long. I couldn't. I didn't have any relationships because of my job, and they were squeezing me. They wanted more out of me. In my hand in the picture here, you know, my that was the point where I was like, and I had just literally nearly died in this really crappy relationship. So I had no more community anymore. I was really alone. I'd kind of given up all my power and was in this relationship. And the only people who really let me have friends with were his family. So I was really, anyways, I was not in good shape. Okay. But that's when I finally decided like, no matter what, I'm going to heal every part of my life and make this business work. And I really, that was, that was the impetus I really needed to like lean in. So if you're in a tough place and you've been kind of playing small and dancing around the edges and you're finding this video today, like, um, you know, maybe a lot of you guys are here. Um, and Denise, you know, there's a, I think there's a bigger reason, you know, there's like, we pray for things and when we, and when an answer shows up, you gotta lean in, you know, cause we have free will. So maybe a lot of you have been praying for like a mentor or guidance or, Hey, show me how to do this. Or, you know, I think this is a really very powerful time of the year. We, you know, you have time right now for learning. You, you know, everyone's kind of on vacation, the holidays, people are reading emails, you know, you're kind of looking at your past year and thinking, where the hell? I don't want my next year to be a repeat of last year. This is a really powerful time. I'm going to invite you guys, you know, to lean in and apply, you know, apply for our eight week program. It is amazing. It's the best decision I think that you can make for yourself. I think it's the best program out there and we have a ton of support. We really, we really care about you guys. Um, some months it cost me over $50,000 to pay my team. That's a lot of fucking money. And I, I'm happy to do it because, you know, our clients get outrageous results. Um, JJ is like, I'm so ready. Woohoo. Uh, I love it. I'm just going to go through some of the comments. And you get to work with Annie. And trust me, everyone's <laughs> like, no, Annie, I love Annie. There's a reason. She's amazing. She's an amazing mindset mentor, amazing copywriter. Jeannie Russell's in the house. Hey, girl. Jeannie, Jeannie's a graduate of ours. She actually lives in Hawaii. She is living the dream in Hawaii. She is an amazing woman. She runs the Dolphin Touch Wellness Center on Kauai, Hawaii, where it used to live. And um, she's been to a lot of our live masterminds, the Soul Sister Mastermind. Amazing, amazing rock star. Merry Christmas and happy holidays, Melikilikimaka, Jeannie, and your husband. I saw you guys post on Facebook here today. Um, yes. So what were we talking about? Totally freaking getting side squindoodled here. Well, one thing that you said that I thought was so interesting and so true is like, you know, you could take all of these different courses. You could go learn Facebook advertising. You could work on your mindset. You could work on spirituality. You could work on, you know, your presence, your copywriting, all of these things. And you could run literally all over the Internet trying to find it. But what I love about our program and, and my background is in marketing. I've been a small business consultant for a third of my life, uh, spoke specializing in marketing and branding and, and all of these things. What I really love about this program is that it marries the mindset with the strategy because we tell our clients this literally every day, five days a week of my life, you will find me saying this phrase, mindset work is actual work. It is not fluffy and it is not cheaply won. And if you do not tackle these five fears and any other of the limiting beliefs holding you back any other of the gremlins that are tearing you down, you could build the most beautiful business imaginable and you are building it on a swamp, right? Yes. The first big fear they hit you, the first panic, that first rejection, anything like that, that's gonna take your whole business out if you are not shoring up a beautiful and firm and relatively unshakable foundation by shoring up that mindset. Yes. So if you really wanna tackle this from both sides, Having the strategy we talked about, having the processes we talked about, but also having real so much more confidence and clarity. Yeah. Real empowerment means that you leave our program with tools that, holy shit, when the gremlins come a knocking, you're like, ah, I know, I, I know, uh -huh. you. I know you. I'm going to whip up this tool and, you know, be in a space of, again, confidence. Mm -hmm. Right? We don't, so, and that's, that's, I think, if you if you head over our website, takeyourpowerbacknow.com, there's uh, we just got a new website, 
It's beautiful. We had to get a new website because we have so many video testimonials from our clients and it was bogging down the <laughs> loading of my website. My design it's was a like, good problem to have, yeah. Good world problem, first world problem. And uh, anyways, it's a beautiful website, but go and watch some of the videos in there and the testimonials. That the, what you're gonna hear our graduates say over and over again is this is the best thing I've done for my life. Period. Forget about just my business, but the mindset work, the confidence, and that's what we want to that's what we want to share with you. Like Annie says, it's the strongest foundation. We want to really equip you to get out there and then give you the right mindset tools and the foundation that you can handle any storm. You know what to do, you know what to happen, you know what to do when you know a, a gremlin pops up, you know how to identify it, you know how to take yourself off automatic, you know how to reinstall new beliefs that support your now vision for success that allows you to get into action and implement the stuff that you're gonna learn. Right. Remember, like real wisdom is knowledge. Real is it real knowledge? There's a great quote. I'm looking for it. I'm making a new webinar here. So Annie and I were joking around before our um, call today that it's, it's like the bane of my existence is making a new webinar. It's like <laughs> kind of like making a whole new business almost, right? Yeah. Uh, and the webinar that we have, you know, currently has made us 1.6 million dollars this year. So you know, now I'm just trying to tweak it, and make it a little bit better. So I'm, I'm in this process, and there's there's a quote by Napoleon Hill, and I'm gonna put it in my new webinar because it's so good. I used to use this in an old webinar years ago, but I used to end it with this quote, it's so good, and it says, real knowledge is, or real wisdom is, you know, not just information, but information that you apply. Mm -hmm. That you apply. You can, you can learn and read books and read books and still be freaking zero nowhere if you don't apply the information. So when we talk about giving that, that mindset, it's, it's, it's to allow you to get into action and apply the shit that you learn from our program and moving on in, your, in the rest of your life and not let your old, lousy, shitty concepts and lies about yourself, well, beliefs that you know need to be revamped prevent you from getting into action, applying the, the wisdom and the teachings that you get because that's where your results come from. So um, we want you to own your value. We want you to you know, work on your worthiness and deserving this gremlins. That really prevents a lot of our clients from even thinking that people will pay them thousands of dollars, right, for their programs um, and charging what you're worth. We, we focus on that very quickly in the program. So again, um, spot on Annie. I would not be alive today without the mindset work. There you go, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's really the foundation for success. So any other last minute words here that we want to share with people, Annie, other than, hey, apply if you want to get outrageous results in 2018. Don't waste any more time. Don't go piecemealing it here and there. You know, let us help you really knock it out of the park. Apply. It's a free conversation. Let me just talk to you guys a little bit about what happens when you apply. Um, we have a, a team of people waiting to talk with you, an, an, an actual person, oh my God, imagine that, like actual people to talk to, trained professionals on our team, you know, who are coaches who really, you know, are going to find out what's really been, what is the issue? Is it a mindset issue? Is it a tech, is it one of these five years that we talked about? What's really been holding you back? And, you know, if we feel that it's a right fit, we may invite you to join our eight-week boot camp. It's not for everyone. We're looking for really serious, committed people who want to make this a, a, an income, a serious income that they can pay their bills with and step away and leave a nine to five job, you know, with a solid foundation and a recurring, consistent income. If you don't have, again, we talk about systems. If you don't have that, that's the recipe for a freaking heart attack. Like that's the recipe for panic, panic in the middle of the night. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't want you guys to be celebrating and being like, yeah, look at that. Boom. Um, who is it? Uh, Caitlin recently. That freaking knockout, man. She, she went through a program, blew it out of the water, filled up two masterminds, filled up a retreat that she did in Banff recently, filled up one in Hawaii she did with another person, a friend that she made in our program. Mm -hmm. The two of them decided to do a retreat in Hawaii. They're in Hawaii this month. Come on! Can you imagine? She says her whole freaking life was completely transformed, completely changed. She had never sold coaching in her life before this. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if, if this is a kind of business that you're really committed to, commit to yourself, you know, to, to, to lean in and learn what you guys need to learn. 
and uh, and hopefully you know you won't get side swindoodled trying to piecemeal it here and there and everywhere else you know um because we really do have an amazing system as you've heard some of the people here today comment on and i promise i swear to god we have not paid a single one of them we they pay them with love and support <laughs> yeah <laughs> they showed up here on their own volition <laughs> Yeah, and of course, did. because we have cute little memes like this little freaking reindeer dude here over here and uh, Christmas tree. Do you guys like our little borders? I'm so I'm so happy about these little live stream borders that we get to play with. Um, any other last minute words, Annie? Uh -huh. So there's this quote that I hear all the time, and I, I don't know who to attribute it to, but I hear it all the time, which is it says, everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear. And in my work every day, I see that that is so entirely true. And if you are ready to get through that fear, to look at the fear as a tool, to look at the fear as something that is temporary, to look at the fear that is something that is surmountable, and it's any of these five fears. So visibility, rejection, technology, worthiness, charging, you know, lack of clarity, doubt, any of that. If you are ready to get to that other side of the fear, I, I certainly hope that you make now the time and, and 2018 the year that you start getting past it and getting through it. And, and I personally would be honored to help you get there. Yeah, me too. There's um, <clears throat> everything that you want is on the other side of fear. It's so true, right? False evidence appearing real. We think it's real. It's not real. There was a really interesting quote. I'm, uh, I always, I love to troll around on Pinterest and download all of these like really quote cool quotes. I you find me on the, on my iPhone. I'm always looking through Pinterest and finding fun quotes. And one of them that I found really interesting was about 2016 being the year of the purging. Mm. 2017 was the year of restructuring reorganization. And 2018 is the year of like, the the having now the year of the the showing the year of the you know bang here it is and getting was, it done getting it done making it happen and I, I I saved it so I'm gonna be sharing it here I haven't shared it already but um, I agree do it now guys don't wait don't wait another freaking two four five ten years for your two four five ten months for your confidence to crumble a little bit more that's not serving you and it's not serving the people out there that could really use your help. You know, like uh, Sarah here, who and Susie here. Sarah is, you know, an amazing mind, uh, relationship expert. You know, imagine all the people who 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 are sitting around, you know, um, arguing with their spouses or alone over the holidays. You know, because you're not out there offering your services. You know how how many uh, you know other people are struggling with their business because you're not offering your services. How many? I don't know if you're a baby whisperer and you can, or maybe like one of our clients, Kylie, she's a, um, she helps women, you know, uh, get pregnant and, and do it on their own, even if they're not in a relationship. I mean, how many people out there, how many women out there, if she wasn't out there offering her services, you know, are they struggling, suffering alone? Mm -hmm. You know, they're, they're out there. Your clients are out there and, and we really want to help you connect with them in a, in a meaningful, authentic way. Um, and, and a systemized way so that, you know, you don't freak out and worry and wake up and have panic attacks in the middle of the night because you don't know, you know, how you're going to pay your mortgage. You know, we want to help you create the right systems and the right systems for where you are in your business, especially if you're a new coach, right? There's certain things you should not be doing. You should not be making webinars. You should not be building passive income websites. And you don't know what the hell you're doing yet who your audience is. You have no idea what problems you solve for profit. Let's help you get your first three to five, three thousand, five thousand dollars sales in the door and if you and some experience and some momentum and some, oh, look at those patterns before you start building automation and things like that. Mouthful. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed this live stream. I certainly have. Um, Annie, thank you again for joining me here today. My absolute pleasure. Thank you for uh, having me. Yes, and thank you everyone for showing up here. You know, uh, Dorsey says everything you've done in 2017 business, laying the foundation is amplified in 2018, the year of manifested dreams. Ooh, See? I love the sound of that. The year of manifested dreams. Year of fulfillment. Yeah, that's it. That's exactly it. Uh, and thank you everyone for showing up and participating. You know, keep showing up. Everything. You know, I always say this, 90% of success is just showing up. You show up for a live stream, you know, you show up and watch this, you learn one nugget, 
you know, keep showing up for yourself. And thank you for, you know, all of our grads and our current clients who made, you know, these wonderful, encouraging posts for people. I absolutely adore you. And I really want to celebrate your bravery and your courage and, and really the fucking rock star that you are, because what you're doing is outrageous. Can you imagine this? Like I was talking to my husband, I was saying, man, you know, like the opportunities that we are afforded now in this 2018, I mean, even the things that you know we have access to, we can do now that we couldn't do eight years ago when I started. It's, not, it's outrageous. I mean, my parents, my father, if he was still alive, he died 10, nine, 10 years ago, nine years ago, 10 years ago, he was 66, would have been 76. He told me stories that when he was young, they didn't, the, the first television was came on his street, you know, and the first thing we all go over and watch TV at the neighbor's house and they have one channel. Now we have the freaking internet and you're able to make hundreds of thousands of dollars on the internet. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's amazing. It's, it's really time to lean in and catch, you know, these trends that are only going to expand and grow here over the next 50 years. That's kind of my focus for 2018 investing and whatnot. So, um, I just celebrate all of you rock stars who are really leaning in and leading the way, being these trailblazers of transformation and change, empowerment, you know, love, spirituality, expansion, consciousness, what the world needs. And you can make an income at it. Totally, <laughs> totally amazing. And it's scary as hell. And we got you. So um, I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you again, Annie and uh, Darcy. Percy, show up to go up. I love it. Yes. Yes. I love it. And I love you guys. And uh, we wish you a very happy holidays and apply, 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 apply so that we can help you. We really want you to have an outrageous 2018 like some of our clients are experiencing. And, you know, if not now, when? All right, guys. We'll see you soon. Keep updated. We've got some more live stream trainings coming at you through the holidays. Uh, check the calendar here. We'll be updating it. And we'll see you guys real soon. Bye, everyone. Bye.